Cancel Court is an improv comedy show. Some opinions and statements are exaggerated for entertainment purposes. The views expressed on Cancel Court are solely those of the individuals providing them and do not reflect the opinions of Defiant Digital or their respective affiliates or employees. Basically, we're going to piss a lot of people off, but fuck it. Cancel Court with Judge Tony Towns. In this episode, the trial of Meek Mill. All I'm saying is when he says, y'all thought I was finished, for y'all to say, yeah, nigga, this time you are. And now, let's go to the courtroom. In this quarter, with a record of 0-1, he needs a win and a fresh lineup. Say hello to Ron Taylor, a.k.a. Ron T. And in this quarter, also coming in at 0-1, if the jacket doesn't fit, just quit. Say hello to Ryan Davis. Come to order. Cancel Court is now in session with Judge Tony Towns. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We are here today to determine if rapper and Philly native Meek Mills should be canceled. We have Mr. Ryan Davis representing the prosecution and defense represented by Mr. Ron Taylor, a.k.a. Ron T. Both sides will present factual evidence that will help the jury determine the verdict of this case. I expect that both parties have done their homework and you will present your evidence accurately. The prosecution and defense will have opening statements and closing arguments, then the battle will begin. Once completed, the jury of your peers will decide the fate of Mr. Meek Mill with a clear and decisive judgment. What are the rules in my court? There are no rules. Bring that fire, pop, lock, and drop. Are we clear? Good. We'll begin with the prosecution. How you doing, Judge? I'm doing great. How about you, sir? I'm doing great, man. I used to pray for times like this. <laughs> Thank you, jury. <laughs> um, today, we'll be talking about canceling Meek Mill. I like Meek Mill. I feel like my hand has been forced. I, 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 feel, I feel for my opponent today. He has to defend somebody whose, let's be honest, contribution to the community, not that much. <laughs> He's actually more known for his attachments than his contributions. Objection, Your Honor. He's swaying the jury. <laughs> OK. Sustain. Oh, I apologize for the facts. <laughs> I will intend to prove today that that is true that everything that you believe you know and love about Meek Mill is only because of the person he's standing beside at the time. It has nothing to do with he himself. The defense rests. <laughs> Mr. Ron T. Well, very interesting opening statements, Mr. Davis. Thank you. Very interesting to hear that you say you like Meek Mill, yet you believe he's contributed nothing to the community. Today, I'll be defending Meek Mill, not only his contributions, but the fact that, no, of course not. Of course he shouldn't be canceled. He's done nothing to be canceled. We've all heard many times before, there are other people who should be canceled. R. Kelly, he's a pisser. <laughs> Mike Jackson, he's a little funny. <laughs> Meek Mill took a couple L's, turned them into M's. <laughs> I don't think that's a reason to cancel a person. We've all taken losses. Today, Mr. Davis will take one as well. Oh, I forgot who my opponent was. Thank you for that. He's an educated one. Yeah, oh yeah. Where should I start? I think I started with, I used to pray for times like this. You see, people understood that because that's Meek Mill's contribution. Entirety. Um, <laughs> in its entirety. Um, we only know dreams and nightmares to turn the club up. That is his entire contribution 
to the black community. Meek Mill is the Montel Jordan of rap. <laughs> Let's not pretend <laughs> that he's more than that. But you know what? Montel Jordan did nothing to be canceled, unlike Meek Mill. Meek Mill, he prayed for times like this to rhyme like this. Was when he talked about what he wanted to rhyme like, was it making a mockery of Kobe's death? turning Kobe dying in a helicopter into a bar about a chopper? You wanted to talk about an AK that bad? Nigga, you on probation, you don't have an AK. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's a reach. Do we have to just talk about all that Kobe did? What he did as a father, what he did as an athlete, what he did as a philanthropist, what he did as a creator? This nigga has an Oscar. Meek Mill just got nominated for his first Grammy, and it wasn't even for his work. <laughs> Speaking of Grammys, right, the nigga has one Grammy nomination for an album that he dropped, where the album is called Champions. The song Champions. When everybody plays that song, nobody plays Meek Mill's verse. <laughs> the song is famous for Jay-Z's verse. When he first came out with the album, the title track that got everybody's attention was going bad. Nobody knows Meek Mill's verse. <laughs> Everybody remembers Drake's contribution to the song. When we talk about record labels, when you think about record labels, you go Young Money. You know, you know, you think uh, you think of Lil Wayne, Drake, Nicki Minaj. When you think Maybach music, nobody thinks Meek. Eventually, you get to him, <laughs> but you don't think Meek. What are we fighting for here? <laughs> Why are we keeping this nigga? <laughs> can anybody explain to me what is the purpose just so we can turn up at the club one time <laughs> to one song? Just replace it with this is how we do it. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. I used to pray for shows like this. Cancel Court will be right back. Cancel Court gets a lot of questions. These are some of the most common. Who is the bailiff on Cancel Court? Well, her name is literally in every episode. We put it in the description. We put it in the credits. It's literally right there in front of you. Say hello to the beautiful Ariel J. Who created Cancel Court? Cancel Court was created by the owners of Defiant Digital. Demario Dudley and Kenny McClendon. Is Cancel Court real improv? Cancel Court is 100% improv. No script, no prep. These comedic geniuses are really battling head to head. Is Judge Tony Towns really Judge Greg Mathis's son? Defiant Digital can neither confirm nor deny this allegation. And finally, will Cancel Court ever be a weekly show? Well, America, that's up to you. To support Cancel Court and help it grow, like, comment, and share from everyone at defiant digital thank you for watching mr ronti wonderful thank mr. you mr davis wrapped up an entire rap career in a couple songs diminish his own bars on his own bodies of work you compared Meek Mill to Montel Jordan. I yes, like indeed. Montel Jordan. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Had some good songs. This is how we do it. Yeah. Get it on tonight. You talked about the fact that Montel Jordan did nothing to be canceled. You're right. But there are other rappers who have. Uh, I'm going to say a rap lyric. You tell me if it sounds familiar to you. See if it sounds like it should be canceled. Beat the pussy like Emmett Till. Hmm. Any interesting rap lyric? By a rapper of the name of Tunji. Who also was taken out of jail by Donald Trump. You didn't cancel him. There's a rap lyric of Molly all in her champagne. She didn't even know it. <laughs> She did not know it. <laughs> That's called date rape. 
That's Meek Mill's team captain. That's Rick Ross. Yet he is not on trial. The mistake that Meek Mill made was comparing his greatness to Kobe Bryant's greatness. Absolutely not. He's no Kobe Bryant. We know that. But in the hip hop world, oftentimes we we try to associate ourselves with, with, with greatness. Kobe Bryant was a great. He went down tragically. What Meek Mill was saying was, if he goes down, it would be great. He was wrong. <laughs> It'd be sad. <laughs> but he's no great. His parents will cry. I'll be angry. That's about it. <laughs> the world will keep going. There'll be no ceremonies. But that doesn't mean he should be canceled. He made a mistake. He had very good songs. And that's all I'm gonna say. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> Y'all thought I was finished. <laughs> when I got that Aston Martin, y'all thought it was rented. <laughs> See, that's the part of the song he forgot. Dreams and nightmares. He was talking about the nightmares, Mr. Davis. But the dreams, I'm like Popeye on his spinach. <laughs> That's the part I want y'all to remember. When y'all think about the great times y'all want to have, the dreams, think about McNeil. That's my case. That was poetry, Mr. Davis. Oh. My opponent is tough. You know, it would have been tougher if you had lyrics from a different song. <laughs> but we all know there isn't one. Because that's his contribution to hip hop. You know what? When you said he was comparing himself to Kobe and he's no Kobe, I feel you on that. That was disrespectful to Kobe. It was also disrespectful to uh, Smush Parker. <laughs> or anybody who's ever played for the Lakers. <laughs> Who has ever won? Because Meek Mill has done a lot of things. But winning, definitely not his forte. <laughs> we thought he had won. This man managed to get Nicki Minaj. That's the biggest win out here. Every man in here was like, how the fuck did he do that? <laughs> It was like when Nick Cannon got with Mariah. We were like, we didn't even know these niggas knew each other. <laughs> Impressive. But what did he do while he was with Nikki? Started fucking up her work situation, taking shots at her fucking label mate. Ladies, imagine that. Ladies in the court, imagine that. Imagine your man coming to your job and arguing with a nigga you work with <laughs> and then leaving like work is supposed to be okay after that. <laughs> and then watch your coworker beat your man up. <laughs> and then this nigga ask you to stay with him. That's what happened. He didn't get beat up once. He got beat back to back. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. The prosecution is being hilariously banterful. I don't like it. <laughs> Sustain, Mr. Davis. Speaking of back to back, back to back is a song by Drake. <laughs> we all know. <laughs> he has multiple songs. Drake was nominated for a Grammy for that diss song, which I'll put up next to the song that Meek Mill was not, oh, he wasn't. <laughs> He's actually more valuable as a punching bag than he is as a fighter. But it's okay, he does have that one Grammy nomination. Oh, damn it, Drake was on the song. <laughs> this nigga went to the nigga who beat his ass. <laughs> and was like, please, bruh, put me back on. Because he's only known for the people he's standing beside at the time. I do love your argument. I do, because Rick Ross and Lil Wayne said some foul shit, and they had to apologize for it. And for that, I think we should take away five of their songs. 
And for the Meek situation, I feel like we should, we don't have five songs. <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of dreams and nightmares, coming from Philly with the nappy braids that locked. <laughs> Getting a record deal is a dream for most, for all anybody who could possibly get there. And to be tied to Rick Ross, that's amazing. But everything that he's done since then has been a nightmare. <laughs> Why on earth are we saving this nigga? Even the guy defending him today said, wouldn't even bother him if this nigga died. <laughs> said it would be a little sad. I'm not even asking you to kill this nigga. <laughs> All I'm saying is when he says, y'all thought I was finished, for y'all to say, yeah, nigga, this time you are. <laughs> no further, Your Honor. Hold up. Wait a minute. Cancel Court will be right back. Evidence was just submitted into the court, a sworn affidavit by Neek's former judge, my fellow cohort. Her name is Judge Janice Brinkley. She sent in a sworn affidavit because she was unable to make it today, so I have allowed it into evidence. And let this go on the record, and I quote, lock that nigga up <laughs> and cancel him immediately. I tried on several attempts to keep this clown off the streets. Due to Mr. Williams, AKA Meek Mill's posse, homeboys, bros, and his rich white friends in power, I was unsuccessful. So please do what is right for the culture, for society, and the children of the future at large. Cancel Robert Williams, AKA Meek the Freak Mills immediately. Mr. Taylor, what is your response to that heavy hitting affidavit by Judge Janice Brinkley. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, let me just start by saying, the bitch name is Janice. <laughs> <laughs> what judge has a ghetto name like Janice? <laughs> she called him Meek the Freak. <laughs> we know a bitter bitch when we see one. <laughs> this bitch wanted dick and didn't get it. Order, order. Sustain, Mr. Taylor. <laughs> Excuse me. She wanted penis and did not receive it. <laughs> That's what she wanted. That's why she locked them up. What did not, what was not in that affidavit is that Miss Brinkley has cousins with mixtapes. <laughs> Meek Mill didn't take them. She kept them in jail. She wanted to flood the streets with bullshit rap. <laughs> Meek Mill stayed in the pen in the bank for us. So we didn't have to hear that trash shit. He said, I'll stay in jail before I take these punk ass mixtapes and flood y'all market with horse shit. That's what he did for us. What has this bitch done? Lock up black men and for what? Popping a willy? She wanted him to pop that willy in that coochie and he did not. Order. This is ridiculous, Your Honor. I agree. Sustain Mr. Taylor. Excuse me. Sometimes I get a little bit passionate about these things. Believe her pedestiotomy. That I will. Point is, she is now angry with the friends that he has. Robert Kraft, Jay-Z, even Mr. Davis brought these people up as if he's only as cool as the people standing around him. Okay. Who's not? You can be standing by anybody. He's standing by the best of the best. Those are two millionaires. I don't know any. Should he be canceled just because we don't need him? Just because he tried? Did he lose to Drake? Of course he did. <laughs> he lost terribly. <laughs> Should he be canceled because he tried and he lost? He did win. He got Nicki Minaj. He won. He got Nicki Minaj while rapping about her with the nappy braids. He's an overcomer. Not only did he overcome them nappy ass braids, he got the woman of his dreams. Meek Mill is a testament of true resilience. It don't matter how nappy your braids are. You can get that bitch. Language. Excuse me. 
you can get that harlot. <laughs> don't matter how hard times are. Don't matter how scary the nightmare is. The dream will come. He's taken many L's. We understand this. How many people have went up against Drake, almighty Drake, and survived to tell the tale? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, where's Pusha T? <laughs> Pusha T's nowhere to be found. We don't even know that Drake crushes people and Meek Mill's still there standing tall with Jay-Z and Robert Kraft and he'll get some new fine young harlot. I'm sure of it. <laughs> it's still young in his days. Meek Mill is a beacon of resilience. He's turned some of his darkest moments into moments to teach people about criminal justice reform. For what reason would we cancel that? For what reason would we cancel the one of the few people who shows us that no matter what, nappy braids locked up and all. <laughs> braids locked up as long as he was. <laughs> you can make it. People talk about his hair, they don't know. He only had his hair braided one time in his life. <laughs> we saw that. <laughs> he overcame that. No further. That was a compelling statement. I also like to add, and let this be on record, Meek Mill donated to the Colin Kaepernick's million dollar pledge for oppressed communities. He sold his Rolls Royce Phantom to donate to Philly schools, and he raised over $50 million for criminal justice reform. He also has Meek Mill Day in four cities, Philly, Atlanta, Houston, and Hartford. What do you say to that, sir? Um, I would uh, first like to say all of those things that you named are amazing. I would also like to say that I'm sure everyone in here, that's the first time they heard any of that shit. <laughs> no one's going to Meek Mill Day. <laughs> Let's be honest. And if it was really, if he was really what he claimed to be, they would call it Meek Mill Week. <laughs> we even have Shark Week. This nigga can't even. Most festivals are a weekend. This nigga got a meek meal afternoon. And you want me to respect that. That is amazing. But I give you that, man. I'm sure Philly loves him. He's the greatest rapper out of Philly. My favorite line of his is, uh, West Philadelphia, born and raised. Oh, it's not even him. Oh. What are we holding on to this nigga for? That is my question. I'll continue to ask it. Man, he was talking about overcoming and getting Nicki Minaj, getting the girl of your dreams. The girl of your dreams. He, he wasn't even supposed to get her, yet he cheated on her. Like, I'm just wondering, is that what we do with our dreams? <laughs> this nigga jumped her ex-boyfriend and then tried to fight her future husband. <laughs> this is the nigga we're keeping? This is who we're fighting for. And he got punked, by the way. TMZ caught it on camera. And then he tries to get on 6 9 for snitching. But according to Remy Ma, she found out that Nicki Minaj ass cheek popped because Meek Mill told her. Who's the snitch? Why the fuck would you tell that about a girl you dreamed about? <laughs> this nigga don't even appreciate what we're doing for him. We made him. And to end him, all we have to do is just play a different song in the club. That's it. I'm not asking you to do a lot to cancel Meek Mill. I'm not asking you a lot. Just asking you whenever the DJ goes, is this what they've been waiting on? You go, hey, DJ, this is how we do it. <laughs> all the dreams, dream girl, fuck that up. Dream situation, getting on a record label. Man, finally, you're on a team, a winning team, Maybach Music. This nigga got on Twitter and got mad at Wale for not tweeting his album. That's your label mate. Why are you throwing your... And then Wale screenshot that he did. So you're just making up problems. This is the nigga we're holding on to. This is, I can't even... <sighs> at what point do we go, one song isn't enough? <laughs> One song isn't enough. I hate to harp on this. I do. 
But I'll just close this portion of my argument with this. If you're anywhere and somebody go, hey, throw that meek on, we all know what's about to be played. <laughs> Damn, one of these niggas is going 0 2. Cancel Court will be right back. We got another sworn affidavit from Meek Mill's ex-girlfriend, Nicki Minaj, as she alleges some things about the defendant. She says, and I quote, Meek's a good-for-nothing type of brother. Silly me. Thank God I found another. Not a baller, but a shot caller. Meek is a known abuser. He beats women's asses. Not my ass, though. I wish a nigga would. She also alleges, and I won't go into depth with this, that she, she quotes on her Twitter, you beat your own sister and taped it, spat on her and taped it, kicked her in front of me and your mother and sent her to the hospital. That's some very powerful stuff. She goes on to say other things about sucking Drake's, you know, the rest. It's a lot of powerful stuff in That's why he did the song. I was wondering, I was like, why <laughs> would he do the song? Yeah. Hell, that blows. <laughs> Mr. Ron T, how would you respond to such serious accusations? I mean, this is some serious, serious stuff here by Miss Minaj. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, it would be serious. It would be. If I could take Nikki serious. At the beginning, you said he's a good for nothing type of brother. It sounded familiar to me. Sound familiar to you all? Sound like, like Destiny's Child or something, right? She's friends with Beyonce. Yeah, but Destiny Child lyrics. Nicki Minaj wasn't in Destiny's Child, therefore that's plagiarism. I can't trust her words. She don't write her own bars. <laughs> How would you trust the words of someone who's lifted them from a song as famous as having Beyonce in it? <laughs> Why would I believe this woman? Everything about her is fake. Her ass, her lips, her tits, and now I'm supposed to believe her words over Meeks? Why? What reason do we have to believe her? She said some things. Now he sucked Drake's dick. <laughs> Where was Drake at? <laughs> he just let it happen? My apologies. Could you, uh... Could you say suck Drake's dick with disgust one more time? Uh, well, you just suck Drake's dick? <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Not that I don't believe he would have did it. I don't believe Drake wouldn't have told us. We would have a song about it already. <laughs> Drake is very expressive. <laughs> He's Canadian and half Jewish. There's no way we wouldn't hear about it. I don't believe that. Nicki Minaj said some very terrible things about fighting and spitting and sisters and all of this stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not forget what's the matter at hand. Should Meek Mill be canceled? No. Yes, he's had his troubles. Yes, he's had his problems. Yeah, he got into it with Drake, but he overcame that. They're friends now. They did a song. Yes, he went to jail, but he got out. He had a whole movement, Free Meek. He got a whole bunch of people out of jail. They made a, uh, they spent a bunch of money to help other people get out of jail and overturn false convictions. That's all very impactful. That's helpful. You talked about the fact that he snitched on Remy Ma. That wasn't snitching. He was trying to give her advice. Say, bitch, don't get a fake ass. It's going to pop. <laughs> Meek Mill is constantly helping us. Now, the level of help, it might not be what we all want, but damn it, it's enough. He cheated on his girlfriend. I get it. Jay-Z cheated on his girlfriend. His girlfriend's Beyonce. None of these hoes is safe. <laughs> Ain't no faithful men out here except for me and Will Smith. That's it. <laughs> 
It was difficult. He failed. He cheated. It was hard. Should we be canceled every time we fail, every time we cheat? Mr. Davis, have you ever had a cheat meal? <laughs> Watch it now. I'm just saying, I have object. you ever had a cheat meal? I object, Your Honor. I, I overruled. I've Answer never died. Did you say overweight or overruled? <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen. I've never died. Should Mr. Davis be canceled because he's had a thousand cheat meals? No. <laughs> he should be able to try again, overcome. That's what Meat Meal does. And if Mr. Davis found it in his heart to take some of that overcomingness, perhaps he'd get up here a little faster. I rest my case. <laughs> oh shit. Somebody's taking another L when Cancel Court returns. Daredevil girls? Defiant Israel got me being defiant. At this time, we will proceed with closing arguments. Mr. Davis, please proceed with your closing argument. And, and, and one last thing. Could you answer his question, though? What was the question? Do you eat a lot, of, a lot of meals. Do I eat a lot of meals? Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. I eat a lot of meals. Okay. Eat a lot of meals. All right. Uh, big meals. Okay, but today, the meal I'm eating tonight will be meat. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> In closing, I am a father of a little girl. Love my little girl. It means the world to me. And I know I'm a hero in her eyes. Being a parent is one of the greatest gifts anybody can have, you know? It's a gift. A woman literally puts her life on the line to make you a father. That's what Kobe was. Father who would take the time to do everything that he could and then started getting in helicopters to beat traffic so he could be a better father, so he could be there for his daughter. Being a father isn't easy. Protecting your child is your main thing. Kobe was on a helicopter. He had to look his daughter in the face <laughs> and realize that in that moment, it was nothing he could do to protect her, and that's his last moments. Meek Mill is also a father too. And while all us fathers were posting pictures going, hashtag girl dad, Meek Mill went, don't they call choppers an AK? That'll be a fire ass bar. Why are we holding on to this nigga? <laughs> is that somebody we want to keep who can't even identify what it is to be human? Hmm? Just because he overcame a bad hairstyle, my opponent thinks that that is the kind of inspiration he needs. But look, you can be a good lawyer without that fro, and <laughs> you don't have to keep holding on to it. You have this tendency to hold on to things that you shouldn't. <laughs> and just like Meek inspired you, I want to inspire you. When you see all of us let go of Meek, then you'll know to let go. The defense rests. Mr. Ron T, you're up with your closing statement. Uh, you know, I'd like to uh, propose a deal. What, what kind of deal, sir? I'd like to settle out of court on the grounds of uh, Meek Mill is a clown. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely true. That tear-jerking story that Mr. Davis just said, uh, we've come to an understanding that he absolutely was in the wrong. However, if the courts would have it, 
We feel as if Meek should be clowned endlessly until the end of times, always, until he shows us differently, to avoid him being canceled indefinitely. On the ground said he's a clown ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Who apparently spits on women. <laughs> and decided that a gun reference should be held with Kobe. <laughs> so if the jury would consider it, <laughs> I would ask that he be clowned, given all the L's, but not canceled. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we have taken your uh, closing argument into consideration and your possible deal, that plea deal that you wanted to insert into the court. But unfortunately, we're gonna let the people speak. It's about them, it's about the truth. Now that you, the jury, have heard both sides of the case, representing the defense, Mr. Ron T, representing the prosecution, Mr. Ryan Davis, it is up to you, the jury, to make a decision. For all those who are in favor of canceling Meek Mill, raise your right hand and say aye. Aye. Thank you. All of the nays agree, raise your right hand and say nay. Is that three? Sound like a struggle with that. <laughs> At this time, a verdict has been rendered, and based on the people, Meek Mill is officially canceled. Court is adjourned. Wow, thank what you. What about the deal, niggas? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all gonna regret this shit in the club. Today was a tough day for me. Um, all wins aren't a win. I did not want to see a fellow black man go down. Mr. Ryan Davis is a, a con artist. He's a terrible person. Uh, absolutely used some very dirty tactic. Sometimes you're just going bad, you know? He really uh, did some tear-jerky shit. He brought us some things that should have been thrown out of court, but I'll put that on the judge. If it was his cousin, Judge Mathis, it wouldn't have went down like this. He would have understood that Mr. Ryan Davis is a crackhead, ma'am. Hmm. Uh, Meek Mill, he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's not a good guy at all, but I don't think he deserves to be canceled. Um, it's been a tough week for me. I let a few people down. Uh, I'd say I'm gonna do the best I can do, but I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm done with this. So uh, it's been my last case. But I got a fire-ass mixtape coming out. Uh, my cousin, she a judge, and she says she gonna get it to somebody. So, you know, we'll see how it go. So. Oh, <laughs>